Morning, Donna. Yes, I was thinking, oh my God, there's nobody there. We're early. But we're not. We're a couple of minutes late, but that's part of the course, really. Um, isn't it absolutely glorious out there today? It is gorgeous. I hope you've all had amazing weekends because it's just been so lovely out there, hasn't it? Morning, Jan. How are you? Oh, morning, Emma. I'm surprised we've actually got people watching today because it's so nice and people could get out and about now. I'm surprised you're all here watching, actually, and not out and about doing stuff. Um, morning, Linda. Oh, you're in the car, taking the caravan down to battle. Oh, I love battle. That's really nice. That's my kind of uh, neck of the woods down there. I hope you don't lose the signal. No, you should be fine. We used to go to um, Pevensey, Pevensey Bay. We used to go camping down there with my parents when we were very little, um, and I love it down there. That's gorgeous. So we have got some really lovely fabrics for you today. But did you all watch The Sewing Bee? What did you reckon? Now, I was hoping we were going to have time on Thursday for a quick catch up. But unfortunately, life ran away with me. So what do you reckon? What did you think of The Sewing Bee? Anybody good? Anybody you think is going to get through? Um, oh, morning, Alison. Hello, Elaine. Hi Claire, you still got housework to do, so unfortunately at home. Oh, Donna says we're addicted. <laughs> oh dear. Morning Debbie, how are you? Did too much yesterday and I can't walk well today. Oh no. Oh Emma, you're working. Are you skiving, Emma? Are you supposed to be doing work, but you're actually secretly watching us? Down to the Foxtrot on Instagram said hello from New Zealand. Oh wow, that's a long way away. Whereabouts in New Zealand are you? Thank you for tuning in. That's brilliant. Uh, morning Karen, hello. Oh, Claire says you haven't got, she hasn't got a favourite on Sewing Bee yet. I know. There's, oh God, I can't remember. Do you know, I'm awful with names. I really am. But there was the guy, and I hate to say it, with the teeth, who was lovely. He was really sweet, wasn't he? He was very cute, actually. Uh, morning, Joe. Morning, Josie. From sunny Mid Wales. Oh, lovely. We'll be heading your way at the end of May. We've got a week booked off and I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Um... Amy says, oh, hi, Amy. I know, washing is out on the line. I know, I put mine out yesterday and it was really lovely, wasn't it? First time this year. And, you know, washing does smell a bit fresher, doesn't it, when it comes in after it's been out on the line. I know, I sound really like my mum saying that, actually. That is exactly the kind of mum thing that people would say, isn't it, really? Um, I love the thimble cat watching from work desk have to multitask oh dear yes i know that's the thing you can have my son works it so you can have sort of like split screens i don't know quite how he does it so you could kind of like secretly have a window open and then just hide it when someone comes to look at your computer i suppose which is a bit naughty but there we go uh oh we've got loads of oh lots of people joining us this morning that's really good um Emma's like, oh, you're really pleased to have it back on. Linda says, I thought the two young girls were good. And there's a couple of, how did they get through? I know, exactly. There was a little bit of a moment where I thought, do you know what? If you can't even sew a shell top, what are you doing on the programme, really? But it's very stressful, I know. And trying to sew under time pressures is completely different to actually sewing at home. So I have a lot of sympathy for people doing that as well. Um, but I think the right people went last week and we'll see what's going to happen tomorrow so it's tomorrow evening isn't it i can't wait it's really good but i agree there were a couple of girls that were quite good and i think it'll be very interesting to see at the end of this who tries to do the career change because inevitably after a reality show there is somebody that tries to do the career change thing isn't there and i think it'd be very interesting to see who does that which would be good so i'm glued i'm absolutely glued um Morning, Teresa. Hi, Maria. Oh, your chooks laid their first egg this morning. Oh, lovely. They are, that means they are proper ladies then, doesn't it, really? Yes. Oh, Emma says you caught me. <laughs> Hello, Jackie from Worthing. Raf to win. Ah, now you're going to have to remind me who Raf is, actually, because I can't remember the names of them. I should have it up on my screen, really, shouldn't I? Um, but I will make a note of who everybody is tomorrow evening. Um, oh, morning, Anne. Are oh, we having a, a break from watching, from doing the bookkeeping? Watching us in the garden with coffee and chocolate brownies. Oh, I think I'd rather be where you are, to be honest, actually. I think that would be lovely. Oh, Claire says, I wouldn't be surprised if the French chap goes far. Oh, I know. He was quite good, wasn't he? Yes. Raph, that may be the French chap. Yes. 
Uh, oh, Emma says you're, uh, you're at home. Ah, oh, so that's okay. So you can Skype a little bit then, can't you? Uh, Karen needs to reposition the washing line on the gazebo. Outdoor, outdoor meetings. Oh, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. I know we've got to kind of reconfigure our washing machine, our washing line at the moment. Oh, domestic bliss, honestly. Um, Tina. Oh, you're back to, oh, oh, oh no. I just, reading and talking at the same time doesn't work, does it? Um, but Tina is about to go for a walk along the Cornish coastal, coastal path. I can't say that this morning. I'm very jealous. I would love to be down there. My son's back at uni and he's been out on the beach every day and I am incredibly jealous, but I'm hoping to get down to see him soon. Who else is out and about? Oh, Lazondria, hello, how are you? And Julia, Jean, good morning from Devon. Oh, Charlie's on, Charlie's, yeah, I knew he'd be able to sniff out the brownies. That'd be Charlie, yes. So, Yes, I think he, yes, the yellow, the French guy did the yellow dress, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, I know. Right. Fabrics, everybody. Now we've got some new sweatshirting in and I love it because it's just one of those wardrobe staple basics and it's fab and it's a really gorgeous quality. So I'm going to show you. Now, I just love this. This is a brand new colour of our double gauze and we have more coming in as well which is really nice and I've just teamed it with I just like all the colors again I've just colored everything up we've just picked out ones that kind of go so there's lots of different patterns that the fabrics will work with today I will kind of shout them out and try and point them out as well um, so this double gauze is absolutely beautiful I've just been using this to make up a new sample that's going to be coming out very soon and I love it and it's really nice to work with actually. Um, I've put it with the seed map rayon and I think it works really nicely with the apricot sweatshirting that we've got as well. So this one is a fleecy backed sweatshirting which is absolutely gorgeous and it's got the matching rib to goes, goes with it. Um, Sorry, reading comments again. <laughs> oh dear. Amy's very jealous of you, Tina, being out on the coastal path. And Charlie's, yeah, oh, Anne says, on my way. I know, we're all going to be your, your place, Tina. Yeah, down for the coastal walk and then uh, out for coffee and brownies. I think that's perfect. Sounds good to me. Uh, Lynn, your brain is awake enough to watch after your oh general anaesthetic for your knee op oh I hope you I hope it's not too painful and you get better soon that's not very nice is it really um oh brilliant Sharon Linda what is double gauze now we're going to do this there's an article in the sewing studio that's going to be part of the May uh content drop that we're going to do and that will explain what double gauze is but it's a really lovely fabric it's basically two layers of uh, gauze and it's kind of just caught together with stitches but it has that lovely kind of um, cheesecloth kind of feel to it so if you are of an age you'll remember cheesecloth and I do um, it's very similar to that but it's a double layer so it's actually and it's cotton as well so it's a natural fiber which is really lovely to wear next to your skin um, and because it has that double layer it's quite nice for this time of year because it will trap air between the layers and it keeps you a little bit warmer but equally because it's cotton it will wick away any moisture so it keeps you cool as well which is fab it's a really lovely fabric um, and it works I just think the colors here are lovely so we've got this sky blue and we've put it with the apricot but also within this within the um, seed map fabric I think it goes really nicely with our lovely hunter's green linen so you could have which would work really nicely. I think you could have a um, hunter's green pair of trousers with a Regan top. So I'd go for Ariel, obviously, because I think those are really cool. Um, and make this uh, a top like an Imogen or a Regan out of the rayon. And then you've got the sweatshirting just to kind of sling over the top, just as an extra layer when it gets a little bit chilly, because it looks nice out there. But if you're in the wind, it's a little bit so, oh, Linda says, yes, you remember cheesecloth. I know, I know. It's lovely fabric, isn't it? 
So I think those as a little kind of group work really, really nicely together actually. So I'm going to move that one out of the way. There we go. She says, watching it slide on the floor. Um, and I'm going to move that one out of the way as well and pop those two together. Oops. This is where you need a bigger space. There we go. Now I'm going to bring out the cotton lawn. Now this, I think, again, works really nicely with the kind of apricot um, sweat shirting fabric. Um, and I think that's a lovely combination. All brilliant. Shout popping up all the links. That's really cool. Um, and we have got the, I think she's going to stick up the discount code very soon as well. So you can make sure that you use that as well. So this is lovely, actually. I think this would be really pretty as a, uh, a nice Desdemona skirt, um, a nice kind of full skirt. And then you've got a lovely sweatshirt just to stick over the top with a pair of trainers. And I think that'd be perfect. Perfect for this kind of weather at the moment would be ideal. This is lovely. It's such a soft cotton lawn. It really is. But again, it works really nicely with the Hunter's Green because it just picks out this slightly darker colour going through here, which is really pretty. I think that's lovely. I like those colours. I'm kind of warming to apricot. It wasn't really one of my favourite colours, but I actually quite like it. In fact, I have a half made Regan Paulina hack upstairs and I just need to kind of work out what I'm doing with the hem. So maybe I'll wear that next week. Who knows? Let's have a quick look. Ooh. There we go. Oh, brilliant. Sean's popped up the PMP code. That's fantastic. So let's move that one out of the way for a sec. Now this is another rayon and it has a lovely kind of blush blush pink little flower there but again I think it works really nicely with the apricot is it called apricot I can't remember now oh salmon there we go it's called salmon yeah it is salmon kind of pink isn't it really yeah I think that works really nicely and again this one works with one of our new sweatshirts so this is just um, a, a flat colour. It isn't a melange, which I love that word, um, but it's a really gorgeous quality. And again, it has that kind of really soft fleecy inside. So it's going to be really lovely to wear next to your skin as well. Um, and I think that works really nicely as well as a kind of a colour combination. We haven't got matching rib for this, but it does give you the opportunity to kind of mix and match. So we've got... We've got the blue and grey, which actually works quite nicely with that. But you could pair it and have a, a kind of a contrast colour as well, actually, which would look really good. So you've got the blue, but you could have the kind of salmon rib that goes with it, which I think kind of just mixes it all up a bit and makes it look rather nice. A bit more interesting. So I think that's lovely. It also works really nicely with the cotton lawn that we've got here. Now, what colour, what fabric is this? Sharon's popped it up the link. Springtime haze, that's it. So I think those as a, another, as a little kind of a colour story all work really nicely together. And again, it's just about making things that kind of mix and match that you can put with different things. I much prefer to do that, to have things that you know you can wear with several other things. And again, it creates different looks, different feels, and it almost kind of extends your wardrobe out a bit. So you've got a bit more, a few more things to wear, which is really nice. So rather than having specific outfits, you know, you might have a dress that you can only wear with a certain pair of shoes or something like that. I much prefer having things that you can kind of mix and match, really. Are you that way or do you quite like having specific outfits? Let me know. And if so, what's your favourite outfit? Because we've all got a favourite, really, haven't we? We've got a go-to kind of dress or a pair of trousers or something like that that we wear. Let's move these out of the way. And I can move this one out of the way. We're going to have another big stack at the front of the table now. Again, just to get everything out of the way. There we go. Oh, I can pop that linen back again now. So we're onto a slightly different colour story now. Let's put that one over there. Oh, let's have a quick look. 
Oh, morning, Robs. Hello. Oh, Martin. Ah, you see, this is the thing. People put their, their names up. So I'm assuming you're Robs, but you're not your Martin, aren't you? Uh, hello. Welcome. <laughs> Good evening in Sydney. I think that's fantastic. We've got people in, uh, people in New Zealand, people in Australia. We've got somebody in uh, the U Lysandria, you're in the US, aren't you? That's fantastic. So if you are abroad, overseas, let us know where you are. It'd be great to see how far, what kind of reach we've got, actually, which would be really lovely. Um, oh, Maxine, you're on holiday in Northumberland and you're tracing off the Perdita. How lovely. I think that's really nice. You're doing a bit of sewing on holiday. Oh, Dee says definitely mix and match. That's the way to go, isn't it, really? Mix and match. So this is... Oops, this is our kind of mid blue and it actually works really nicely with the next little kind of colour story that we've got going on. Now this is another cotton lawn and it is really pretty. It's called Scarlet Meadow and it has all those lovely kind of little sort of meadow flowers in it. But it's, it has quite a bright kind of, um, kind of patterns to it this morning, um, which I think is really lovely. Uh, oh, morning Joanne from Yorkshire lovely donna says oh you're making a capsule wardrobe yes you are <laughs> just having a problem sticking to my colors with all these lovely fabrics i know i know this is the trouble isn't it it's having lots of choice but i think that works really nicely together as well and we can pick out these kind of mauve colors so we've got the heather arctic dusk which i think is rather nice that works really well with that and we've also got the um black recordial as well that would work with this too oops we're going to collapse now there we go so i think actually those look they do work really nicely as a whole little kind of group again um, it's a nice little color story so you've got different things that you can kind of mix and match now don't forget i mean something like um this blue sweatshirting would go with loads of different colours. So you could pick out um, greens. Um, it would go with the bright red linen that we've got. Um, you could stick it with the hunter's green um, for one of the other fabrics that we've got there. There's loads of different things. Blue is the new black, isn't it really? It kind of goes with everything. And I love it. I really do. Are you a black or a navy person? That's really quite an interesting one, isn't it? What's your kind of, almost like your neutral? I mean, navy is almost a neutral, isn't it, really? You can kind of mix and match it with loads of different things, which I think is lovely. Now, another one that works with the blackberry cordial is wood violet. Now, this is beautiful. It's such a pretty fabric and I think it's so lovely. And it goes absolutely beautifully with our black cordial. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So you could easily have a pair of um, Porsche trousers in the black cordial linen and then another little top, a little Celia perhaps, or an Imogen would be really nice. That would work really lovely as well. Oops, and it's got some... Oh, Deborah says you're a navy person. Amy, you're a navy girl, I know. Black can be quite harsh, actually, sometimes. Navy, navy. Oh, everybody's navy. That's really interesting. Julie says, I grew up being told black is slimming. Not sure it's working that well. <laughs> I know the feeling, I know the feeling. Navy, I know, it's really interesting, isn't it? Now, when I was working as a fashion lecturer many years ago, that was it, fashion. You're in fashion, you have to wear black, and that's it regardless of whether it actually suits you or not. So um, I, I was very, <laughs> it was quite a relief to come out of that environment and actually be able to wear different colours, which was rather nice. But it's interesting, isn't it, to see kind of how, um, oh, Maxine, you're a purples person. That's brilliant. That's really interesting. So would you kind of put purples as almost like your kind of neutral that runs through your entire kind of wardrobe and put different colours with that? Because again, it would work. It would work. That's really interesting. So, and again, oops, let's move that one out of the way. Actually, I was going to put the red rib with the... Now, actually, that's quite an interesting combination, isn't it? The, uh, the red rib with the scarlet meadow. I think that works quite nicely, actually. So you could have a nice little summer weight short-sleeved Regan, which would be really cute with that. 
Um, Claire says, Gr Navy is great with pale legs. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> yeah, I've, I don't tan. I just go dark white until all my freckles join up, really. And that's my only suntan that I get. Um, my poor son is exactly the same. Luckily, my daughter tans. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, Seamus is pale skinned like I am. Pale and interesting is what I say, whether that's true. But there we go. Oh, Maxine says you're absolutely so loving this collection. Well, if you're kind of like into purples, then this is going to be, yeah, this kind of little colour section here is just for you, really. Um, oh, Jan says, love a mix of navy, jades and purples. Yeah, I think they all go really nicely together, actually, don't they? Nikki says, I've always been black, now banned myself from buying. Knew it is grey or navy. That's quite interesting, actually. Oh, and Dee says, your neutral is dark teal. Goes with purple, red, blue, lime greens, etc. It does, actually. That's really true. Alin says, purple is the colour that speaks to me, but it's not that easy to find. I know, it's not. It doesn't seem to be a particularly fashionable colour at the moment, but actually it does work really nicely. And it goes with lots of different skin tones as well, which is quite good, very useful. Um, Jane, I'm a navy girl, except for Thursdays, when I wear black to support action against gender-based abuse. Well, that's very, I think that's lovely, actually. If there's a, a link to the charity, then feel free to stick it in the comments, which would be great. I'm going to pop those to one side now, so that we can have a look at some of the other ones. So we're going to slightly go away from the purples now, more into um, greys and blacks as neutrals. Let's pop those over there. Do you remember, do you remember um, Susanna and Trini that used to be on the TV with kind of styling people and stuff like that? And they would always say, never wear colour with black. Never wear colour with black. But I kind of think you can, really. You can kind of get away with it, can't you? To be honest, really. Oh, brilliant. There we go. Thanks, Jane. That would be Thursdays in Black. That's really interesting. I've got to check that out later. Thank you. Um, Joanne says, can I ask if you have any plans to extend the sizing on older patterns? Yes, we are going to be trying to do that. We're trying to kind of work our way through a back catalogue at the moment. Um, it's just taking a little bit longer than we'd anticipated. So yes, we will be going through them and I'm hoping that we'll be able to have a new one coming back out every month. And one of Kate is one of the ones that we're gonna start off with because it is such a simple shape. So I'm hoping we'll probably get that ready for June, but don't hold me to it. Um, we will let you know though, but it is definitely on the cards to get that sorted. Oh, uh, Donna. If you were making a blouse with a scarlet meadow, what buttons would you use? You keep adding buttons to your basket and changing your mind. <gasps> Do you know what? We've got, my buttons are being hidden at the moment, but we've got loads, actually. It depends on uh, what kind of blouse. We've got some really cute little flower-shaped ones. There's some lovely red ones. We've got some red ones with a kind of a white circle going around the outside. Um, we've got loads. We've got loads. Um, the best thing to do is have a look through the website and see. Um, if you decide that you don't want to use them for your project, I'm sure there will be other things that you'll be able to use them for. I tend to um, string all my buttons together. So I've got them in a little kind of loop. Because there's nothing worse, is there, than putting them loose in a button box and then you can only find four and you need five. And then when you go in there the next time you find that last one, which is really annoying. So I would, I would probably do that actually. There's low, we've got quite a few different red ones though. So it might be best just to have a quick look at the website really. Um, oh, let's have a quick look. I've frozen. Oh, Nikki, just refresh your browser and hopefully we will, um, we'll start moving again. Oh, Ruth says, more bullet dresses, more bullet dress patterns with pockets. Now, what do you mean by a bullet dress? That's quite interesting. Or is it a presumptive text? I don't know. Yeah, great idea for buttons, says Jan. I know, that's the thing, isn't it? Otherwise, they kind of rattle around the tin and you never know where they are. But if you tie them all together or thread them all together, then it just it keeps them all in one place. 
So I'm just going to move these out the way. So we've got a little bit more space. Oh, I love this. This is so gorgeous, this colour. It is really nice. Let's pop that there. And I can have a tidy up when we're finished. Oh, brilliant. Karen said email and she can try and advise you. So she can send you some pictures then. Oops, of different ones. There we go. Now, slightly different colourway. But I quite like it actually. And we're kind of going into some different things here. So let's slide these along. Now this is another one of the new sweatshirts. Now it's a kind of a, I want to call it a, it's a flat colour. So it hasn't got any of that texture in it, which can be quite nice, but equally a kind of a nice solid colour can give you quite a punch when you're just making up a kind of a, a statement kind of thing, which works really well. Um, oh, uh, Jan, oh, Jan said, does Ruth mean buffet dresses? <laughs> I know, I'd never heard them called a buffet dress either. I think they made it up, to be honest. Um, yes, you could be right, Ruth, actually. It probably is a buffet dress, yeah. I've never, <laughs> yeah, Maria says, I've never heard of a bullet dre buffet, buffet dress either before the sewing bee. Uh, there we go. Oh, good. That's fine. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Reading comments and not speaking at the same time is a little bit of a, I know, I'm really sorry about that. Um, I love this. We've got, uh, this would make up beautifully and you've just got the plain ribbing there. This is just like one of those classics, isn't it? You just, you know, when you uh, want a, that sweatshirt just to sling over something, a dress or a skirt or another t-shirt, this is the kind of thing that you're going to go for, isn't it? This is absolutely a wardrobe staple. I think you probably need a sweatshirt. You need a Regan in one of these colours because they are just so lovely and they'll go with everything, which is really good. So again, this is that lovely soft kind of fleecy back to it, which is really lovely. So if you've got, if you've knocked up, she says, I love this, I love this. This is our, what's it called, foliage. Foliage canopy, and it's viscose linen. It's gorgeous fabric, it really is. I have got on my hit list a Cressida jumpsuit to make up out of this, and I think this would be amazing. And you could just imagine, now we're allowed out, we can go and sit in the pub gardens, can't we? Which is rather exciting. Have you been out and about? We did actually, as a team, we went up to uh, the pub up the road actually for, for a meal the other day for Olivia's birthday, which was rather nice. But this, and it was quite nice, we came, went fully equipped with uh, blankets. Sharon had a hot water bottle with her as well, just in case. Claire brought her quilt, so we were all wrapped up with coats and everything, and it was lovely, it really was nice. Um, buffet dress, yes, Ruth, that's fine. <laughs> Linda says, oh, it was called a layer dress when I was young, a long time ago. I know. They are a really lovely style. And actually, hold that thought because 1st of May, we've got something coming out that I think you might be interested in, if you like buffet dresses, which is rather nice. But let's go back to the Cressida. So you could have your Cressida jumpsuit and then sling on a nice little sweatshirt just when it gets a bit chilly, which I think would be a really nice combination, actually. Um, and I think that would work beautifully. I love those colours, I really do. Oh, Maria, does viscose linen crinkle as much as linen? No, it doesn't, which is one of the lovely things about it. It has, it's really nice and soft and it has that lovely kind of drape. Now, because it's a natural fibre, it will crease a little bit. But to be honest, the warmth of your body as you're wearing the garment, the creases will drop out. So you'll be absolutely fine with it. Um, this is a really lovely fabric. I mean, it doesn't go dishwashy, you know, dishwash rag kind of crinkly. This is absolutely fine. It would make up beautifully. It really would, it would. And I love it. When you see it in a big piece, look, isn't it gorgeous? I love that, I really do. I think that's just lovely. Now, whether you would want to make a buffet dress in this or have a, um, a Desdemona, a long Desdemona skirt with a little sweatshirt, which I quite like the look of. I think they look really nice. I think that would work really nicely. Um, you could 
team it with now we've just got one of the new colors we've got a black in the double gauze which again would work really nicely with that i was on the beach dropping Seamus off at uni and we had fish and chips on the beach while he was down there and I saw a lady and I've seen her several times down on um, Gilly Beach and she has a really gorgeous double gauze black skirt on and it's kind of like a tulip shape and it's really lovely because I notice things like that unfortunately I'm a little bit sad and I do clock what people are wearing sometimes and, she, and I mentioned it to Seamus and he was like what are you like? But I don't know. Do you do that? I think that's good. Um, oh, Jan says, is the grey sweatshirt fabric heavy enough for a quince cardi? Yes, it would be perfect for the quince. Any of the sweatshirting that I'm going to show you today would make up beautifully in the quince. Yes. So you could equally, rather than a Regan, you could just make a, up a quince cardi and throw that on as well, actually, which would work really nicely. Oh, Linda says, that foliage is your favourite fabric along with the chartreuse linen. Well, I think you have very good taste, Linda. I think that's lovely. There we go. So I think that would work really nicely too. And I think... So again, another nice little kind of colour story going on here. And I'm going to bring in the Annabelle. There we are. Cotton Lawn. And I think this is quite a nice one. This is quite a funky one, actually. I think it works, again, really nicely with the grey sweatshirting and the double gauze it's quite a funky one very kind of very kind of mid-century isn't it really which i think is great i quite like that and again i think you've just got a really nice you know the um the sweatshirts that have got larger sleeves i think those are really rather nice watch this space because we're working on some new patterns we've got loads of new patterns coming out um our aim is to have new patterns every month which would be fantastic. Um, and that's what we're working on at the moment. So we've got another pattern coming out in May. And then we're going to do a double one in June. So lots coming out, lots coming out, which is rather lovely and exciting. This goes really nicely with the lovely Chartreuse linen. And I think this is such a gorgeous, I mean, look at that with the black. Oh, that's so nice, isn't it? That is so nice. I mean, that's proper holiday kind of stuff, isn't it, really? I think it would look amazing. A pair of yellow Porsche trousers. Now, I know it's a bright kind of colour, but actually it does go with lots of different things. So even if you had something like a pair of trousers in it, you could mix and match it and go with loads of different things. And I think a pair of wide leg Porsche trousers with um, a cape tunic over the top would be really cool actually um, and I think that would look amazing with a nice big necklace and some sandals or trainers in the summer and I think that would look fabulous. I'm getting quite excited now I mean, even my own wardrobe is going to have to change I think but I really like that really like those those fabrics together so I'm going to pop that one down out of the way and I just want to keep the plain ones out because sometimes we don't need patterns. Sometimes we just want plain. I'm wearing plain today. Um, and sometimes we don't want to have that. We just want to have a nice plain and just rely on a pop of colour for our jewelries or accessories and stuff like that, which works just as well. So it doesn't have to all be about the print. It can be about the plain. And that's, that's interesting, actually. What would you prefer to see? I know when we're kind of filming and, and doing stuff like this, that print seems to work better. But we have got loads of gorgeous plain fabrics that it's a bit difficult to kind of show their detail, really. I mean, behind me here, these are all wool and cotton fabrics and they're absolutely amazing. My trousers are made up in um, a wool suiting but it's really difficult to kind of show that on camera so would you prefer to see just prints or do, are you quite interested in planes as well which I think is um, maybe you can let us know that would be really good so as another plane we've got now this is a marl this one but it's a very pale grey and again I think it works really nicely with the whole kind of almost like a monochrome thing 
but it also works nicely with the chartreuse linen. So I think that works too. Let's move the double gauze out of the way. So again, you see you've got a really nice pair of trousers or a Desdemona skirt or something like that. Oh, Deborah says both. So you're interested in planes and patterns. That's good. But again, that would work really nicely. You could make a pair of um, aerial cargo pants in a sweatshirting and have a really nice kind of long shirt over shirt to go with it actually which would work really nicely too so these would work with bottoms as well as tops edwina hello how are you i think you need the plain fabrics to show off the prints exactly yes and linda says you like a print with a matching plain yeah patricia i do like to see a mixture of print and plain so that's good maybe what we'll do then We've actually got a new, another pattern that we're working on at the moment is a trouser pattern. And I think the planes are gonna work really nicely with that. So what we might do then is when that pattern is ready, we'll bring out all the planes. Mind you, I think actually the um, next pattern, the dress pattern would work with planes too. So there we go, that's good. I'm thinking off the top of my head there, but that's good. Oops. D says, just as you do now, a mix of both. We do try and do a mix, D, absolutely, because we kind of try and mix and match things. So hopefully that's good. Jan says, I love plain textured fabrics and your advice regarding the weight and ways of working with them is invaluable when you can't feel them. Oh, good, that's brilliant. Well, that's what we're trying to do here is to give you a bit more information because um, we do everything online now. So we don't ha operate as a shop per se. Um, when we're able to run the workshops, then people could kind of have a look around and see what we've got. But otherwise, we are just purely online now. Um, and it means that uh, oh, it means that it's far easier. So hopefully if I can describe the fabrics to you and tell them what they're suitable for, it'll make a little bit more sense when you come to have a look on the website, which is good. So if that works, then that's fantastic. Donna says, oh, yes, Ariel in sweatshirt. I know, I know. I'm working on some at the moment. So, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes when they're finished. I'm going to pop that there because I think that's going to go with the next colour story that we've got. Now, the other one that I've got, and I've just taken it out of this plastic. We're keeping this very precious in plastic at the moment. This is the white double gauze. And again, I think this is just lovely. It's really soft. It's absolutely beautiful fabric. This would make up perfectly in an Imogen top, actually. It would be ideal or um, a Celia would be really lovely. I'm actually wearing the T-shirt that we did for... Um, the ICHF workshop um, and I've just realised, I've just realised I've got it inside out. <laughs> what am I like? I clearly can't get dressed this morning. I've put on my t-shirt and it's inside out. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> She's clearly having a senior moment today. She says looking at the hem on her t-shirt. But actually, this t-shirt would make up beautifully in the double gauze that would work really nicely so i think this one would uh would be a great addition to your wardrobe i can see all the little laughing emojis coming up now that's really funny oh dear what am i like not even a monday morning i know exactly <laughs> yeah and i yeah and i i didn't have a late night last night either i've got no excuse other than um yeah, I'm not actually very with it, really, most of the time, but <laughs> there we go. Right, so this, I think, again, this would work really nice. White goes with everything as well, doesn't it? But it does go beautifully with the Chartreuse yellow. Oh, this is so, such a gorgeous colour. It's my favourite colour. It's my favourite colour. I think it's lovely. Right, I'm going to pop that one back. I'm not going to put it on the floor. That can sit there. There we go. And I'm going to move these up to the back. Now, everyone's laughing. I know you could set a new trend. More coffee. Exactly, Amy. That is exactly what, uh, <laughs> no, no, I know. What am I like? Sharon's just like, I can hear her killing herself laughing up there already. Yes. I should be setting a new trend. Now, what do they say though? You say you're not supposed to turn them in back the right way because that's bad luck, isn't it, apparently? Not that I'm superstitious or anything like that, much. Except when I see a magpie. And then you have to say, morning, Mr. Magpie, how's your wife today? That's the law. Let's move these out of the way. I call it reversible. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, dear. 
I clearly am having a senior moment today, aren't I? Right, let's move these out the way. And I've got the black double gauze. I know it's a lovely fabric, it really is. Makes up beautifully. Oops, let's pop that up there, pop that up there. And we can bring these now further forward. So I've left all of the lovely bright ones till the end. There we go, that's my exercise for the day. Moving the fabrics around. Now I love this. This is gorgeous. Now I did show this the other week, but I don't think I gave it the time that it deserved. This is a stripy denim and I love it, I really do. This is perfect. Yes, it's, yes, it's bad luck to change it. Oh no, I've got, I've got to stay inside out all day. Never mind, never mind. So, the, I love this. This is gorgeous. It's a soft, lightweight, I say medium kind of weight denim, um, but I love the stripe in it and I think it's gorgeous. I really do. I will maybe be making up another pair of trousers like this in these. There's a new pattern that I'm working on that Sharon is not that keen on um, and nobody else is that keen on really apart from me, but I may well make them up in this and I'm going to convert her. She will, she will want to wear them. Uh, Claire, are these lives once a week, Jules? Yes, Claire, we normally hear regularly, 11 o'clock on a Tuesday, um, where I just talk about fabrics, really, and anything else that comes to mind. Um, so if you're able to join us, that would be lovely. Just change into something completely different, or like, like a different person, Linda, that would be quite interesting, wouldn't it, really? <laughs> Uh, we want that done for your hero course. I know, Julia, this would be perfect for heroes. It really would. It's, I don't think it's got any, it hasn't got any elastane in it. It's got a teeny bit of give to it, but I don't think it's got any elastane in it. I think it's 100% cotton, but this would make up beautifully for heroes. You could even make a nice summer weight perda to pinafore with this actually, which would work really nicely too. Um, Uh, Jan's talking about rotary cutters. Now, yeah, you see, I, uh, rotary cutters, I'm not a fan of them for dressmaking. They have their place. If you're cutting strips for bias or anything like that, then I think they're fantastic. Um, try to use, couldn't see where the blade was cutting. Yeah, if you are, again, if you have, the easiest way to use them, it's a bit like scissors. If you are right-handed, then I would cut around the pattern clockwise because that way the blade is going to be sitting right up next to your pattern piece so you should be able to see where you're cutting does that make sense whereas if you're right-handed and you're cutting anti-clockwise you can't see the pattern where you're cutting it try it and see how you how you get on with it um but i would yeah i'd rather you just if it's jersey yeah it's a it's a tricky one. I tend to, when if I'm working with jersey, I do tend to use scissors because I just personally find it easier. But I think if you want to have a practice with your uh, rotary cutter, try cutting in different directions and see if that makes a difference. Um, oh, Teresa, yes. There we go. Yeah, there we are. Just more comments coming through. I can't read and talk at the same time, clearly but I love this fabric, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it works really nicely with some of the ones that I've just put away, actually. Um, I love navy and white together, is a classic combination, isn't it? It would work beautifully with the white double gauze. Um, we've got the white linen that would work really nicely with it as well. We've got the navy linen, again. I haven't got them out, but these are ones that we would work together. And I would definitely put the navy sweatshirting with it as well. Um, just a really simple, again, it's that Carnavian white, it's a little bit kind of nautical, isn't it? But I think it's such a classic combination, it really is. Um, or oh, Claire says, oh look, I've looked at your fabric, your website, but you haven't needed any due to current stash, but I'm ploughing through them. Claire, we've always got fabrics coming in, we have quite a high turnover of fabric, so Hopefully you'll see something that you like when you need it, which is brilliant. Um, 
Patricia says, I've used a rotary cutter for jersey because it moves too much. Yeah, you can. Just make sure you've got your um, cutting mat underneath it, though, because you don't want to ruin your table. Um, but there we go. So this is the same kind of quality again. It's the really lovely, soft, brushed back sweatshirting. And again, I just think a pair of really simple little trousers, a pair of pumps, and a big, nice, oversized sweatshirt would be just perfect. I mean, it would be gorgeous for today, wouldn't it? Um, and you can then brighten it up with a scarf or jewellery or something like that if you want to. Again, it's just a staple. It's a classic, isn't it? You know you're not going to go wrong with this kind of stuff, which is brilliant, and I love it. You could, if you wanted to, pop the... Um, we've got the navy and grey marl rib with it as well. That looks rather nice if you don't want to have the, the stripe. I quite like a big sweatshirt, actually, and you just have the rib or a band around the neck, and then you kind of leave the hem and the sleeves raw, so they kind of roll up, which can look, give it a really nice effect, actually. I think it works really nicely. So that's that little combination there. And I can move that one out of the way now. Let's tuck that down there. So with this navy sweatshirting, again, if you've got a lovely big oversized sweatshirt, it's going to go beautifully with the cotton lawn. Oh, what's it? I always forget this name. That's it. Weekend getaway. Isn't that lovely? The colours on it, though, are gorgeous because you've got that navy. The navy sweatshirt would just act as a base for this. And again, you've got it, um, if you wanted to, aerial trousers and sweatshirting without the pockets on the side would be quite cool. And then a really simple top. Or you've got a dress or a Desdemona skirt. Again, with a sweatshirt just slung over the top, I think would work really nicely. This is such a cool fabric. And there's so many different colours in here that you can pick out and use to kind of mix and match again, which is brilliant. Nikki says, you need to use weights with a rotary cutter. Yep, I think that's a really good idea, actually. Now, weights, you can use anything from tins of bins to little, um, you know, like juggling balls, little kind of pouches with rice in, or you can get some really lovely ones. Sharon has got some gorgeous pattern weights, and they look like Battenberg cake, which I think is really cool. Although you'd have to be careful not to... Uh, <laughs> not to mistake them <laughs> for actual cake. Uh, or Jan says, if you use a rib for neck bands, is there a ratio to use to calculate how much you need? Jan, it's a little bit of suck it and see because you never really know quite how stretchy your fabric's going to be. What you really want to do, though, is to kind of... If you can work it, there's a way I kind of work it, which is a little bit more complicated, but it's drawing on the concentric circles that you have for your neckline. So if you imagine your the cut edge of your neckline is one circle. The stitching line is going to be bigger than that because you've got the edge of your fabric is going to be have the seam allowance included. But then your the final edge, the finished edge of your neckband, if I show you on here. So if you imagine you've got your stitching line here, then you've got the seam allowance and the cut edge, and then you've got the finished edge of your neckband. So the difference, so if you draw those kinds of lines on your pattern, you'll know the length of this inside edge. So that really should determine what you cut your neckband as. And then I tend to take off a centimeter anyway, just because um, we want it to fit nice and snug. So this line here, this your, your finished edge line, is going to be smaller than your stitching line. And that's going to be what you kind of need to work. So your, the band stretches to fit the neckline. Does that make sense? I hope so. Um, it is just a little bit of, of kind of suck it and see, really. I would just stretch it and just see how much um, give there is in your the fabric that you're going to use for your neckband, whether it's a rib or whether it's the same fabric, and then see how you go with that, really. Um, I hope that makes sense. There we go. That's good. 
So we've got weekend getaway with the navy, which looks rather nice. And again, we've got another cotton lawn. Cotton lawn is such a gorgeous fabric. It works so nicely with loads of different patterns as well. Let's pop that one up there. Now again, oh, there we go. That's another nice, it's another kind of basic, isn't it? It just kind of goes. Navy just goes with everything, doesn't it, really? Now this one is, can't find the label, there it is. That's it, Midnight Meadow in Cotton Lawn. And again, that's so lovely. It's got really lovely, it's not too overpowering, but it's a nice, bright, cheerful kind of fabric. There we go, oh, brilliant, thank you. Yep, there's the, there we've got the um, tutorial up there on YouTube. I'd forgotten about that, thanks Sharon. That's good, or was it Rachel? I don't know whoever it was that put it up there, but that's brilliant. Um, yes, there we go, Midnight Meadow, that's lovely. And again, this goes, you can pick out the colors. So again, you've got, it goes really nicely with that chartreuse yellow, or we've got the pillar box red which is another one that kind of goes with it. It's very primary, um, and that might not be everybody's kind of thing. I love primary colours, and I think the brighter and the clearer and the cleaner, that's what I really like, but not everybody's the same. But you've also got some more subtle kinds of colours in here. So we've got um, a teal and a, almost like a cobalt blue. We've also got a very kind of soft almost heathery mauve in there as well. So you could pick out those kinds of things if you want to just tone it down a little bit, which I think would work really nicely as well. So that one is a rather nice one. Let's shove that over the back there as well. And I can move my lovely Chartreuse linen. There we go. I'm going to move that one out of the way too. Now, this is lovely. I think we have shown this before, but the colours in this are just amazing. They really are. And it's kind of oil painted sailboats. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. I love it. I love it. It's just clean and bright and absolutely gorgeous. And it is, it's, it's a poplin. So, well, is it a poplin? It's a little bit more substantial than a cotton lawn. What do they call it? They've probably called it something different. No, they just call it 100% cotton. So they haven't given it a name. I would say it was more poplin-like. So it's a bit more kind of shirt weight. So it's slightly heavier than a cotton lawn, but you could still use it in exactly the same way. I think this is beautiful. Jan says, I have found the fabric for the first May pattern. I know, this would look amazing. It really would. It would be absolutely gorgeous. I know, the red D is absolutely beautiful. The laundered linen is just lovely. I think those would work really nicely together. Now, if you wanted to go a little bit mad, you could. Now, this is another colour that we've got in the sweatshirting. And we've got the electric blue ribbing kind of works really nicely with that actually and we've got the red rib which is quite a bright red that would work really nicely with that too now the sweatshirting that we've got is quite a bright i was it's i hate to say it but it's almost neon but it isn't quite but it is a really bright orangey kind of red but i love this if you wanted to make a real kind of statement with a very simple cardigan or a sweatshirt or something like that then I think this is the one to do it with um, sometimes you can just have this would look amazing with a pair of dark jeans I think it would be really cool um, I'd put it with a pair of dark jeans and a white necklace or something like that just to make a real kind of statement which I think would be really cool Amy says I need to find an excuse to buy the sailing fabric I know I know Julia says, I love you can hear the fabric moving. You know immediately what you have. I think that's so true, actually. That is so true. Yeah, brilliant. I know it's just a beautiful fabric, it really is. 
and I love it again. You could make a, a fantastic little kind of one of those buffet dresses or a layered tiered dress if you wanted to and then a really cool little sweatshirt over the top and I think that would be amazing actually lovely for sitting outside the pubs or having a coffee somewhere I think that would be really cool I think that works really nicely so I'm going to pop those over the back there and I'm going to move this lovely lovely sailing fabric this is I just think it's gorgeous it really is nice the colours in it are just beautiful. Just reminds me of um, reminds me of Cornwall, actually. It really does. Now then, let's pop that over there. The red, I'm going to pop back over here. So we've got the final group of fabrics that we can put together. She says, "Nope, that's all fallen down. Never mind. We'll pick it up later." So final little grouping. Now one of these fabrics you may recognise because it was on the sewing bee last week. This is beautiful. Now they did make up a buffet dress in this and I think it is absolutely stunning. I love it. I really do. Which is why we got it in um, and it makes up beautifully. So you probably had a look. I can't remember whose dress it was now but it worked really nicely actually. And again it works with an orange rib that we've got. If you wanted to do it in something like a, a Regan, for example. But we've got the bright green. Oh, I love that. This is another kind of statement color, which I love. Again, it's a really lovely, soft, kind of fleecy back. It's a really nice, super quality sweatshirting, this is. And I think they go really nicely together. I think they're quite fun kinds of fabrics and just work really nicely together and uh, this i put them together with this was the linen i think i might have shown this last week actually but i think this is really pretty and i think it all kind of works together i can't remember what it's called now where's the label labels on the other end that's it vintage posies in a linen cotton that's it I should remember the fabrics really, shouldn't I? But there we go. I think actually that works quite nicely as well. And this works with the orange rib. So I think all of those together as another little kind of colour story, I think works really nicely, really nicely. Oh, D, sailboats as Hippolyta. That would work. That would be really nice actually. So who said I need to find an excuse? But Marie says buy a boat. Yeah, that would be, that that would do it. Yeah. Amy said, oh, just thought it would go fab with your red jeans. Well, there you go, Amy. If that's not reason enough, I don't know what is. So that would be fab. There we go. Yep. Sharon's just popped up the link for the navy bloom in the viscose, which is the one that was featured last week, um, and all of the other fabrics that go with it too, which is lovely. So I hope you've been inspired this week. There's uh, lots going on. Um, I'm really looking forward to the next second episode for the sewing bee, which is tomorrow. And uh, I'm hoping that I'll catch that. Well, I will catch it, I'll make sure. Even if I'm a bit late, I might actually watch it later, but that's fine. I think all of these work really nicely together. We've got some gorgeous fabrics in at the moment, we really have, and we've got more coming in as well. So I'll be able to show you more next week. I hope you've been inspired there and that even though the weather is absolutely gorgeous out there, you're still sewing because we're gonna need more clothes, aren't we now? We're gonna to have to get out of our loungewear. Now we're allowed out and about and we want some nice, easy to wear summer dresses. So keep your eyes peeled for the new one that we've got coming out on the 1st of May, which I absolutely love. I think it's my new favourite, actually. Um, I knocked one up yesterday and I absolutely love it. So I will will keep you peeled with or keep you up to date with all of those. Um, and we've got lots more content going into the sewing studio on the 1st of May as well. So we'll keep you up to date with all of that. So take care and uh, we will see you next week. Happy sewing. <laughs>